this is the manga report for the week of june 29th 2020 uh these are our five titles we're bringing uh this is a title i recently came across um i just watched the entire thing uh so this is actually an anime uh this is a uh a chinese uh cartoon uh by the name of my holy weapon um Think of it as a um, a mix between like a, a, think of it like a Chinese Fate Stay Night, uh, where instead of summoning ancient spirits, they summon weapons and fight. Um, <clears throat> so let's get into the synopsis here. <clears throat> Narrator voice. One day, while being attacked, Chong Tian unintentionally invokes an artifact called Xiao Bai that protects him from a terrible fate. After this. He finds himself on a battlefield where he will fight along several other people like him, able to invoke artifacts known as spirit warriors. So, uh, this was actually a pretty cool watch. Um, like I said, it, it had that it has that face day night feel. Uh, always gonna have your betrayal because without the betrayal, you know where where what is where is the story you going? Where where are we going in this in this life? Um, not in this life, but you know what I mean. Like in this in the series, um, this is uh, Chang Tian. This is Xiao Bai. This is Chu. Oh God, I can't remember her name. Uh, Xiao Fang Feng Tian. It's is Lu Bu's spear. Um, or halberd. Uh. This was a dope series, actually. I enjoyed it. the The fighting was uh, was amazing. Well, I mean, I was okay. I wouldn't say amazing, but it was good. Enjoyed the, the the action sequences when there were. Uh, there's, there's more fighting in this than anything, actually, to be honest with you. Uh, I think almost every other episode was a fight. Um, so it was a pretty fast-paced story. Uh, you're not, not reading too much. I mean, you're reading, but, you know, subtitles, you know, got to gotta deal with that. Uh, so you can actually watch this on uh, YouTube on the... Uh, Guadong subs, I believe is what it is. Yeah, that's the is that the official ten cent uh, YouTube channel. I'm not hundred percent sure there yet. Um, but that that's our first title for the week of June 29th, ninth, twenty twenty. Uh, our second title for the week of June 29th, ninth, twenty twenty is <clears throat> Kimono Michi. Uh, Kimono Michi is uh, looks like it's published by Karakawa. Uh, it's a story. Uh, it's an isekai story. Um, main character is a well. Hold on, let's uh, let's get into it. <clears throat> Narrator voice: Genzo Shibata is a famous pro wrestler known in the world of wrestling as Animal Mask. The night of the match for the title of World Champion, he suddenly para- he suddenly teleported into a fantasy world by a princess who asked him to act as a beast killer and free the kingdom from the evil beast, infesting his its forest. However, Genzo is also a true animals lover, and he immediately refuses the order, knocking out the princess with a German suplex and leaving the castle. Alone in a new world, Genzo sides very soon with the wolf girl, Shigure, joining alongside her to the local guild and starting a new career as a beast hunter. However, instead of killing them, his goal is to befriend and capture as many monsters as possible in order to realize his greatest dream, become the owner of a pet shop. Um, God, this show was hilarious, man. Like, it's chock full of laughs. Uh, just the, the, the concept, my guy, that it's a professional wrestler who wants to start up a, uh, start a pet shop, gets summoned to another world, where there are beastkin and uh him and his little dog uh just end up in this world and he's just there's oh my god it's, it's crazy that the, the comedy in this is it's 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 just every episode man just bam bam chalk, popping them out it's comedy comedy have full of chalk full of laughs so if you want to get a good laugh this is a good show to watch um i guess you could also read it too but i would the anime the the anime was hilarious man like and this is on hulu right now so if you have a hulu account uh you can actually go ahead and re- watch this on there um but that is our second title for the week of june 29th 2020 our third title for the week of june 29th 2020 is 
King and Ashura. Uh, King and Ashura is uh, currently on Netflix. So if you have Netflix, you can watch this. Uh, the manga appears to be 27 volumes, uh, 236 chapters. Um, but let's go ahead and get into the narrator. That's the plot. <clears throat> narrator voice. Since the Edo periods of Japan, gladiator arenas exist in certain areas. In these areas, sorry. In these arenas, wealthy business owners and merchants hire gladiators to fight in unnamed combat, where the winner takes all. Tokita Oma, nicknamed Ashura, joins these arenas and devastates his opponents. His particular ability to crush his enemies catch the attention of the big business owners, including the nogi group ceo nogi hideki um this show was crazy uh fighting was over oh, just oh man it, and the art style is a um kind of a cg art style so yeah uh cg cell shading it looks like if i'm not mistaken kind of the art style but it, it was awesome i liked the fighting in this as well uh it wasn't supernatural so much uh granted there was still a little bit of uh you know over uh, inhumanly or over uh superhuman feats uh but it wasn't like you know like superpowers like you know energy blasts and stuff like that um but uh it was a good good show nonetheless uh the the, the story is pretty well driven as well uh i uh i liked it um Oh wow! It says that there's a King and Asha was a Japanese manga series written by Sandrovich Yabo uh, Yaboko and illustrated by uh, Daromon. It is, is followed by the sequel King and Omega. Hmm. Okay, so that means there's more to come. Obviously, it's a twin separate volumes. Uh, but the genre here says it's martial arts, action, shonen, comedy, and drama. Uh, and there was some funny moments too because there's the businessman that has to work with. Uh, 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 uh tokita oma and um their dynamic is is crazy uh so that's our third title for the week of june 29th 2020 moving on to our fourth title all right our fourth title for the week of june 29th 2020 is baki this is also found on netflix and there are currently three seasons available to watch so if you have netflix i would recommend go ahead and giving this a shot uh so let's kind of get into that synopsis <clears throat> narrator voice while martial arts champion baki hama trains hard to surpass his legendary father five violent death row inmates descend upon tokyo to take him on that's season one synopsis um yeah the action in this uh, series is pretty crazy too uh so man i don't really want to you know take too much away from it but the um the story is uh really as i said it's about bakiyama wanting to be to beat his father that's really his his whole drive and goal in life is he just wants to beat his father uh he could care less if his father was the strongest man in the world he just wants to beat his father um and it's the growth of everything he has to go through to become uh uh an improved fighter uh to finally take on his father uh the role to self discovery self discovery for a lot of people um not just baki hanma there's other a lot of other characters um that's uh stories are unfolding and being told at the same time um it's uh a great action uh, flake so uh actually series i would say um if you if you enjoy martial arts titles and, and, and um you're okay with a little bit of blood and gore i would recommend uh re watching baki uh our four our fifth title for the week of june 29th 2020 is all right so this could be found on web novel app uh, this is Apocalypse Respawn by Apocalypse God, or I Can Respawn in the Apocalypse. Um, so I just wanted to show you this this artwork. Uh, it's actually a little different on the app, uh, but this is uh, the last title for June 29th, 2020. It is um, Apocalypse Respawn. So let's get to the application. So here it also is the artwork for the web novel as well. It's a little different. Um, so 
Here we go. <clears throat> Narrative voice. What do you call a world that went to hell? An apocalypse? What do you call reviving in a game? Respawning? What do you call a man who can respawn in an apocalypse? A bug? An immortality hack? Or a cheat? This is a story about a world turning into a game like Apocalypse and our MC, Li Shen, coming back from the future and being able to do something others aren't able to do, which is respawn. Uh, I read the first six chapters of this and just the just the 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 act of him obtaining the ability was just so funny to me like i was laughing so hard um i i want to go ahead and keep reading this probably so i can try to catch up a little bit uh but this is our last title so literally it, it's it's this man he, he wakes up on a plane uh i think it was um was it 10 years in the past or 15 years in the past um but with all the knowledge of everything that's going to happen and uh he then he just basically gets prepped for when the the system, the world system happens and then when it does happen he starts obtaining experience points so just grinding as hard as possible um and then he unlocks his responding ability uh yeah i don't want to say too much because if you do read this i think you will enjoy that uh that's like the funniest uh way to, to to obtain abilities uh and and to basically stick it to the system um but there you have it those are your five titles for the week of june 29th 2020 uh come back and check me out when we do the review on friday uh which will be actually that'll be july 3rd which is actually uh gonna be good because a lot of people will be off so uh maybe i'll catch you on twitch at clean toshi joku so signing off remember as always Stay salty.